Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to part two of today's stream. We are continuing Final Fantasy VII. Does it look and form feel more in sync now than previously? Fabulous. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Devon. Okay. We are in Mount Nebel, you guys. We're in Mount Nebel. Yeah, this the, OBS like reset yesterday and it, it changed over to like default in of when of like my windows instead of like the microphone specifically and i feel like that that jacked things up um apparently it happened to a couple of people all right so now we have to slide down the pipes to get some more items we're gonna slide down pipe number five first yes here we go hmm why did that not... That's supposed to send me there. Down there. What? Did I actually slide down pipe four? Maybe I just have the wrong pipe? I was trying to get down there. To get that box. There's nothing down pipe five and I'm just confused. Let's uh let's try four since I can't really see where it's going. Yeah, I do love this microphone. It's more reliable in a lot of ways than the um blue yeti that I was using before, but the blue yeti was never out of sync. It was a USB mic that was that was never out of sync, so that is a, a drawback to this mic in particular. It's uh, it gets out, it gets out of sync, and, and I've seen it. It's been in both directions sometimes that it gets out of sync. So you know, quirks of this mic specifically. How have you been, by the way, Devon? Haven't seen you in chat lately. G give me an update. What you been up to? Try actually going down pipe four. There we go. Okay, it was pipe four that I was supposed to go down. Okay, wait, how do I get back up? How do I get back up? Oh, like that. There we go. Okay. Come on. Get right, right there. There we go. Oh, this way. We're gonna go down pipe two next because I can't really see where it goes goes out at, so that's probably the other treasure. These guys look like angry turnips. They just, they just dancing. They just dancing angry turnips. What's up with that? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's nothing like the weird and wacky enemy design of Final Fantasy VII. They are crazy. Oh my gosh, so many random battles! I'm like over it. Oh, it's the fucking dragon again that I can't run from. Alright, whatever. Oh, that heals him. Of course fire heals him. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking that's what happened. Oh, what about death blow? Can that do anything? Nope. It's always gonna miss, isn't it? The only the reason to equip death blow is for the stats. If you want the stats, equip it. know if like if I use breath of the earth the the number of times but it's missing it's it, it still counts um because I know you have to use it a certain number of times to unlock for other level two one so am I doing it right or do they actually have to have status effects on them for her to heal for it to like count as like one of those if anybody knows please tell me <clears throat> There we go. Power soul, okay. I don't want to fight you yet, I really want to save first. Can I, can I get to the save point? What if I go around back? I always understood its uses, not necessarily successful uses, okay. That's how I'm, in, I'm interpreting it as well, but I just was not sure. So I'm, like, asking myself, like, am I wasting turns? I don't think I am, but, you know. going around back. I really want to save first. Yes, I can do it. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Boss battle time. Come on. Hello. You don't want to fight me? Okay. I thought she wanted to fight me. He do want to fight me. He do want to fight me. Hello, mister. Hello. Um, how are you today? <laughs> I'm good. Let's sense him. See if he can tell us anything. 
I'm very sorry, Mr. Man. You're about to have a pretty bad weekend. Um, because I'm going to kill you. All right. He has a lot of HP. Okay. Didn't list any weaknesses or anything. All right. So we just kill him. Kill him dead. Is fire good on him? I guess it didn't it didn't list any elemental weakness, so it should be fine. Oh no, it heals him! Why didn't Sense tell me that? Oh my god. No fire for you. I guess we can bolt too. try to bio him. Let's try to do that. See if he's susceptible to poison. Okay, he is. No lightning's okay, so we're gonna use Titan. Or I should have said Ramu. I should have used Ramu. I forgot. It's Titan is Earth, and Ramu is the lightning. Buddy, how you enjoying this game? CK, hello! Oh my gosh, it's been forever. Um, I, I'm liking this game so far. Uh, have not played it. I have not played it since I was a kid, so it's been a really long time for me. Um, but uh, it's bringing back lots of good memories. Lots of good memories. We got our boy. We got our boy Vincent. Um, we got Yuffie, so we've got the optional characters. Um, we're in Mount Nebel right now. What the heck is that? Whoa! Always good to revisit a classic? Hell yeah. Yes. How have you been? I've been good. Thanks. Been a good weekend. Time to chill now. Hell yeah. I love that for you. That's pretty, that's pretty much like, okay. Getting Vincent was not cozy, but, but this game, other than a couple of certain things, like, and I didn't, I didn't even have to do that. You know what I mean? Like, and except for a couple of th certain things, it's a pretty easy game. So it's been quite a cozy, nice, chill experience. Vincent was not. That was exciting. <laughs> that was hard. Uh, I did it, but it was hard. But uh, for the most part, yeah, this game is very cozy. So it's nice. Have you struggled with any bosses? Um, only the getting Vincent. The getting the one where that you fight after you do the safe for the for his key. 
I did die, and I had to go redo it. Oh, there we go. That's her other limit, I'm pretty sure. It's her other level two limit. Loss number, yes. Okay, so we've got her, we've got both of her level twos. Raise the party's limit gauge to max, except yours. Fuck yes. Okay, she's, she's on to, to learning level three. Yeah, he did give me, he did give me some trouble. I mean, I'd, I'd fought him as soon as I could, so I know I was under leveled for him, so I actually had to like, you know, do the mechanics. Oh, fuck yes, counter! I see you got the power soul, yes. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, 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 okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. There we go. Yes, okay. Cover and counter. Together at last. This is a this is such a good combo. Okay. This is such a good combo. Um, okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is it okay for me to give you info on Power Soul? Yes. Um, this is a no spoilers. Okay, no story spoilers, but um, backseating is okay. Backseating is okay. Just don't tell me stuff that's wrong, because I do know some about this game, so I'll call you, I will call you out if you give me wrong information. That's happened a couple of times so far. But yes, um, if you want to give me some tips that are like things like, oh, she definitely doesn't remember this because it was like years ago, like that type of stuff, like please tell me, because I would love to know. So yeah, this is what I have, by the way. So yeah, some backseating is okay. <clears throat> okay, I think that's, I think we just have to get out of Mount Nebel now. There's no other treasure or anything, I don't think. Yes, you get, you get it. It's a weapon for Tifa. When she's critical health, it takes off loads of damage. If you give her a Giga Armlet and a Curse Ring, it takes off insane damage. It's a risky strat sometimes, but just for your info. Oh, okay. So basically, that's a use case for the Power Soul. Because otherwise, you wouldn't use it. If it's only going to do tons of damage when she's low health. All right. We made it through Mount Nebel. Um... Okay, the buggy's over there. Can I get over there? I guess I'm not supposed to get my buggy back before the next area. I just realized they didn't tell me where to go. This game usually tells me where I'm supposed to go. So that's a little surprising that we got all the way out of Mount Nebel and it has, didn't say anything about where to go. Yeah, if she's full health, it's not effective. It will be if she has Curse Ring, but if you have crit health, it's ridiculous. Nice. Okay. Do I have... Okay, let me just see if I do have that item. Yeah, okay, yeah, I do have it. Power up when near death. So I'll try to, I'll try to remember to hang on to it. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much. Okay, wait, we have to do the we have to do the thing. Okay. Um so I know I'm supposed to do our last character's thing next. But I don't know where that is. Usually the this game gives you some kind of direction. 
maybe it's it must be this dot up here it's got to be Yeah, sometimes the beans are good. Like, I mean, I've got, I got like the peach one last time I got bean booze. Oh God, I can still taste it. Disgusting. Who's your favorite character so far? Oh, my favorite, my favorite is the boy Vincent. Okay, and that's like OG. Okay, that's not new or anything. Um. But I like to have Eris in my party until... Spoilers. So, I have her, and I love uh, Nanaki. We know his real name now, so we can say it. I love Nanaki. I think he's so cute. Um, he's beautiful. So this is the party that I like to have until, you know, the, uh, the sort of end of disc one, I guess you could say. Um, but we'll put Vincent in the party after this and like get his limit breaks and stuff and show him off, you know, after that point. Um, as a kid, I really liked Yuffie and I still have a, have a real soft spot for Yuffie, but um, she can be a little annoying sometimes. But yeah, Vincent, I love Vincent, I love his story. I can't wait to get to the later scenes with Vincent. Uh, I think if you guys do not know, you're gonna love him too. If you love my stream, you're gonna love Vincent. Nanaki is baby, true. Have you played remake? No, I have not. Um, and I have spoken about this, but so I'll keep it, I'll keep it brief, but I'm going to play the remake whenever all three are out. Okay. Cause to me, breaking them up in this way, it's like when they take the last Twilight movie or the last, or the last, um, Twilight book, the last Harry Potter book, whatever, they make it into two movies. I don't like it. Like, I just, I think it's dirty. This was meant to be one story, not split in three. Okay, it's not right. It's not the vision. And I don't think the remake should have done that. So 2029, no worries, I can't wait, right? <laughs> yeah, so I have watched streams of it. Like, so I have like kind of vague esoteric opinions, but I've not played it. So I don't have real opinions that I could like give you guys about those games. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm not going to play them until they're all out, you know, which is fine with me. I don't, I don't need to play things right when they come out. I feel like if you played the first two, you might get enough mileage until the last one comes out. Maybe I hear they're long as fuck and I'm completionist. So if, maybe if I start them now, by the time I finish, the last one will be out. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> all right, here we go. New town. What's this? A rusty old rocket. Wonder why they made something so huge. Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. Uh, captain? Who's the captain? The captain was a pilot when Shinra was still interested in their space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut, but there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life here, away here, dreaming about going to outer space. Did you see a man in a black cape? A man in a black cape? Nope, never seen him. Okay, so that was, uh, that was a Nibelheim only sort of thing, I guess. And uh, none of the locals seemed bothered. Very strange. All right, let me handle all your weapon and accessory needs. Yes, okay. Oh, gold armlets. Mm. Yeah, I really want those. I'll tell you now, Breerith will take forever. Yeah, if you completionist it, it's insane, right? Because of all the stuff that's in the gold saucer, mostly. I don't know what materia I want there. Oh, I can give you another spell. 
Let's see, we've got fire all. Okay, why don't we do this? Um, arrange. Okay, now he can fire and lightning all, and then we'll give him, I don't know, earth. Yeah, earth. I digress, that's for 2029. <laughs> Side quest city, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I am vaguely familiar <laughs> with that. So, uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But that's okay. We've still got, like, this game, we've got all the pixel remasters. We've got 8 and 9. You know, we got many, many Final Fantasies until then. And then there's side games if we want to do any of those, you know? Okay, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I'm gonna put ice all and then put the sense on here. The fact they're spacing the seven games out so much really annoys me. True. Yeah, I mean, I know they need lots of dev time, so, like, I'm not hating in that way. But it just, to me, it just screams, like, we want to milk the fuck out of um, this IP, you know? Which, and they always have. Seven has always been milked the fuck with si uh, side games, whether people want them or not. Freaking Advent Children, you know? Final Fantasy Twinks the movie. And, like, I, I get it. Cloud sells, Seffy sells. I get it. But it's, like, it's too much. It's too much, you know? It's a frustrating. I have a feeling the last one will be out sooner than we think. It might. It might. I just want to, like, the Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy has made so many cool worlds. So many cool worlds. And not nothing gets the love like Seven does. Where's the love for Six's world? Where's the love for Spira in the... It, where is this energy for any other Final Fantasy world? It, do, it doesn't exist. That's how it comes across to me, too. All this optional stuff they add just to increase dev time way too much. Yeah. Yeah. But I haven't played it, so, like, I don't know, but just watching other people play it, what I know about it, that's how it feels to me. It feels just... It feels, like, bloated, and I can't stop myself from thinking it's bloated from reasons to make money, right? So, you know. Hmm, is it real or fake? Oh, is it? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, it's the inn. Yeah, we'll go sleep in the inn. Not to mention the cutscenes. It makes games feel like movies, not games. And one of the reasons I stopped playing the franchise after six. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't mind cutscenes. I just need them to be impactful. You know, like 10 has a lot of cutscenes and I love 10. I love 10. Um, but some things don't have to be cutscenes. Some things can just be text on the screen. Everything doesn't have to be a cutscene. You know, and I feel like in modern games, there's heavy on the cutscenes, less text on screen. Sometimes it could just be text, you know? I think the gap between two and three will be shorter. They got more assets already and they're going from Midgar only to the, yeah. Yeah. Now that they've done a game with the rest of the world. Cutscenes and because they just want 50 hours of them alongside 20 hours of gameplay. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. A drink will ease your heart. Would you like something to drink? Let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's really the town's representative, so you should really talk with him. I want to talk with everyone. All of your stories are important. Not just the leaders. I'm in here. Okay. Yeah, I think cutscenes have a place. Like, so a lot of my favorite games have are cutscene heavy. It's just It's just that there there is there is a too much. There is a too much. To where I wonder why you're making a game and not just making a cartoon, you know? Why is it not just an animated series or a movie or whatever? That rusted out rocket is all that remains of Shinra's space program. Okay. What's in here? And besides, if there's not if there's cutscenes, I can't do silly voices. 
Mm, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything that can excite me? Uh, video games? I don't know. I'm never bored. Only boring people are bored. Jeez, it's boring. Isn't there anything exciting gonna happen? Y'all, what the heck? Just do something. Invent something. Make something. Don't you guys know how to, like, write or draw or something? Welcome. This is the item shop. Okay. Let's see what they got. Oh, okay. There's some materials I don't have. Oh, they're very fucking expensive, though. Exit and barrier? Are either of these worth it, you guys, getting exit or barrier? This is kind of ridiculous. 10,000 gil. I have 32,000 right now. So it would take, like, two-thirds of my gil. I get the feeling, don't quote me now, but everyone is bored. Barrier can be good? Okay, I'll buy a barrier, I'll skip exit. Oh, it says I own one. Did I just, because I, oh, because I, I just pressed the button to buy it. Okay. Time also. I think I have a time one. Did I, I don't know if I have it equipped, but I think I have that. Okay, we're good, we're good right now. At some point I will have to like start leveling up my materials and being like picky with them and stuff. This used to be a Shinra base where they launched rockets. You saw the leaning rocket, right? That's Shinra number 26. Never got off the ground though. Guess 26 was gonna be the one with an astronaut. Mm, let's see, do I know any good jokes? Why is everyone bored? It's no big deal. Okay. Talk to old man three times. This one? Okay. Hmm, let's see. Do I know any good jokes? It's my job to make people laugh all over the world. Hmm. It's his job to make people laugh? That's weird. Oh, the old guy outside looking at the rocket. Oh, okay. I was just talking to the townsfolk. I hadn't really gotten to where I wanted to progress. I think I talked to everybody now. So we can go do this, like you said. This guy, right? It just looms there. That's how the town got its name. Shinra number 26. Want to look at the rocket with me? Of course I want to look at the rocket with you. Why would you even have to ask? It's beautiful. You know, there's so, there's so much phallic imagery in this game. It's almost as if Cloud is struggling with his masculinity and, and, uh, and his own personal identity. I get so impressed every time I look at it. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's kind of hobby, but out of appreciation, let me give you this. Whoa. I wish you'd take care of it and use it. Okay. Who's, who, who's, this is definitely a sword, right? It's, cl it's for cloud. What is this? It's a sword for cloud. Okay. Ooh, nice attack. Oh, but it's only got two materia slots? lame -o. Gross. Should I use this for the more attack power, even though it's only got two freaking materias? Sword is used when an ally is down. I don't know what that means. Let's go to here. Well, that thing is stronger when your party is KO'd and only Cloud is alive? Oh, okay. So it's another one of those type of things like Tifa's one. Only it's for the party, not for, you know. For Tifa's, it's when she is hurt. Makes sense, thematically. Why Tifa's would work that way and Cloud's works with the allies. Oh, well, hello, there's a red arrow. Can I not? Hello? Hmm. I want to go in the rocket. God, I can still taste that stink bug. My teeth. I'm going there. It's a red arrow back here. Does this take me somewhere? 
Can I ask where you are? Is it hot weather? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's hot. I I'm in the southeastern United States. I'm in South Carolina. It's hot here. It's hot here all the time. Okay. I need to find this captain. But I feel like I talked to everyone. Did I miss a house? I think I went into every house. Is there one back here? No, that's just a dead end. Okay. See, so yeah, I went in this house. Yes. One in this house. Yes, I'm in Scotland and it's fucking roasting. I've heard, you know, all of my um, European peeps um, have told me that it's really hot. Oh, drill arm. Nice. Okay. I did not have that on my item list, so I might have missed it. There we go. This is where I was supposed to be. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. Hey, let's take it, okay, Cloud? Um, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you'd like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shira, and what are your names? I'm Cloud. I'm Eris. Nanaki, otherwise known as Red Thirteen. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra. Thought you were bringing approval for the space program. Huh? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? Planet's fucked? True. That's why um, the plot of Final Fantasy VII is evergreen. Planet's fucked. Not getting better. Okay, now I should be able to go up to the rocket, I think. I had skipped that house. That was my problem. Let's go, let's go. Wasn't sure if we could swear, but you swore. Yeah, no, you can swear. I don't mind. Um, the only like words that are banned by themselves is, uh, is slurs, you know. Otherwise, like I don't, I don't care what words people use. You know what I'm saying? They're just words. Okay, now I can go inside. Hey, it's the man, the legend. Rocket man. Every now and then I... Yeah. Yeah, you get it. Okay, well, what, what kind of voice should I give him? What are you guys doing here? <laughs> we heard the captain was here. I'm the captain. It's Sid! We have, we have complex feelings about Sid, okay? We're gonna get into it. You're gonna see. Absolute banger of a steam top three. Agree. The name's Sid. Everyone calls me Captain, though. What do you want? Okay, um, tell me about the rocket. Let's pretend that you smoke 86 a day and give him that voice. If I could do, like, the doctor girlfriend voice for Sid, I would do it. Because in my, in my head, that's what it would be. I just can't do that voice. So we're just gonna be fast-talking annoying in that way. But I would love if I could sound like doctor girlfriend. <laughs> you know? Uh, tell me about this rocket. Wow, not bad for a kid. All right, then. I'll explain it to you. You know, Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the Meaningless War, right? Now, it's a Mako company, but in the old days, it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me. I mean, come on. And finally, we get to see to the day of the launch. Everything was going well. But because of the dumbass Shira, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. And so, Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plans. After, they told me how the future was space exploration and got my damn hopes up. Damn them. Then, it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, dinero. My dream was just a financial number for them. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. 
Every day, it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. The thing falling over or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. Oh, and that's all. Okay, he won't say nothing else. Well, you know what? I think he's a little mean to Shira. I think he's a little mean to Shira. I'm just saying. Like, if it's it's all her fault, but she's still his assistant. I'm just saying. Something's messed up there. Can't wait to hear Vincent's. Vincent's is not that impressive. I don't. I can't sound like a cool guy. You know what I mean? So, um. So I try. But when we get to Vincent's scenes, of course, I'll do more of his. There's a lot of characters in this, and I have only so much of a range, you know. But I, I like to do them. I think it's really fun. Okay, this was, uh... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so we talked to him. Let's go back here, I think? Oh, here we go. Excuse me, Cloud. Yay, food is here. Thank you. Um... Yeah, I think... There's sauce on it, so I don't think I need it. I think I'm okay. I don't mind getting some. Well, maybe bring me one of the botchans. Um, yeah. Oh, one one. Huh? Oh. Oh, good. Okay, there we go. Oh, yay. Oh, I definitely don't need soy for this. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Y'all, uh, no, I'm good. Sorry. It's okay. Look, guys, I got sushi from Publix. No, this one's good. Thank you, Jeff. All right, so I'm gonna eat that in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do this scene first. Did the captain say anything? No. Oh. <sighs> this is so, it's so bad. Fuck, Shira, what are you, blind? We have guests, get some tea. Huh. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. Really, don't mind us. Shut up. Sit down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea. Ugh, damn it, I'm pissed. Shira, I'll be in the backyard tuning up the tiny Bronco and make sure to serve them some tea, all right? <sighs> Sheesh, what bad manners. This is worse than bad manners, Eris. This is what this is just straight he's just a mean, cruel person. Sorry, it's our fault. Oh no, he's always like this. I think it's a bit too harsh. No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon would get tired waiting around on your ass. I I'm sorry. So, she wait, so I just want to point out, she's telling us about the mistake she made. She's not made the mistake yet, and he's talking to her like this. Okay. Don't take so much time checking that shit, oxygen tank. Shira, being careful's good, but no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. That thing wouldn't break, even if hell froze over. But... No buts! You're not stupid, you'd be more efficient. I'm sorry. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We're so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain, fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel, all clear. Shinra number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? We have an emergency. Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who 
is the little shit? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey, goddammit, who the fuck is still in there? It's Shira, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shira, what are you still doing down there? I was still concerned. The results of the ox oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little bitch. It's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be fucking left when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp. You're gonna die, you know that, don't ya? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Almost done? You're gonna die! Sid, we must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute! She was still in there! What are you gonna do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. God damn it! She re You wanna make me a murderer? Captain. He see, he's more worried about being called a murderer than doing the murder. Shira? Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shira, hurry up. You're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What, what am I? What am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds until ignition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon, outer space, my dreams! Ignite engine. Shit! He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. It's why it's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Shira, you still haven't served him tea! I I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down. Or ain't, ain't my hospitality good enough for you? You're late. Where's Rufus? H hey, long time no see. So, Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't a fat man, Palmer. How long were you figuring keeping on me waiting? So, when's the space program gonna start up again? H hey, I don't know. The president's outside, so why don't you ask him? good for nothing see like it's just it's so much it's so much don't say fat you're right Palmer he shouldn't have insulted you hey, hey tea can I have some too with lots of sugar and honey and oh yeah don't forget the lard lard in your tea okay well that's kind of weird sorry Palmer I am gonna judge you for that you're all good thank you CK is President Rufus here to announce that he's gonna restart the space program Oh my gosh, I'm trying to talk to, uh, I'm trying to talk to Palmer. Here we go. Hey, have we met before? <laughs> no, uh, no we haven't. No we haven't, Palmer. Ha 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 ha, we don't know each other. We're definitely not eco-terrorists, bye. What the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then, what'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now, we think we know where he's headed, but we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. Fuck, first the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco. Shinra took our outer space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my. 
You seem to forget it was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Um, excuse me. This way. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? Okay, where is Palmer? Is he back here? Hmm. Why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. Oh my god, he's stealing it! Palmer will be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shinra building, when the president was killed. Uh, s security! Okay, well, we fight now. I can't believe I have to fight Palmer. What the heck? I'm gonna take a bite of my sushi, like I really want to eat it. Looks so good, it's got like avocado and stuff all over it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I love Publix. Look at that! Power up! And they can all limit break now. <clears throat> Palmer, what the heck? Why are you trying to show me your booty? Nobody wants to see that. Well, maybe somebody does, but not me. You're a bad person. Mako gun. Oh, it does. Okay. Is he about to do something, or is he about to run away? Oh! Oh, the Bronco's getting him! Ugh. No victory music, that's unique. Taking off. Forget it, get in. Just flying on the wings, definitely not getting knocked off. This is just like, um, this is just like flying the, uh, shoot, what's it called? In 10 2. And then they like chill on, on the, on the, on the, on the top of the plane while it flies. Fuck, tail's been hit. Emergency landing. This is gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers, no pissing them. If they're willing to write curse words, why is sometimes it blanked out for Barrett and Sid? I never understood that. She won't fly anymore. Can't we use it as a boat? Fuck, do whatever you want. Sid, what will you do now? I don't know. History with Shinra. I've given up on that town. How about your wife, Shira? Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just think about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys gonna do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. 
We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up. How about it, everyone? <laughs> I don't really care. <sighs> Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls. Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go against Shinra... Oh, this is Sid. Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has got to be numbskulls. I like it. So, where are we headed? Rufus was going after Sephiroth to the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it, the Temple of the Ancients? I don't know. That numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction, so maybe it's off this way. Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. The name bothers me. Okay, so we can fly the tiny Bronco in, and he can cross shallow waters and rivers. Okay, sweet. All right. So, um, oh gosh, this music is loud. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. So I just want to explain what happened. I've heard Sid is toned down quite a bit in the remake and the remaster. And I think that's a tragedy because showing characters that actually behave like this is important because people behave like this in real life. This is a very clear situation where Sid has always been mean to Shira, and she feels battered and indebted to him. And then she makes a big mistake, which makes her feel like she can never leave. This is something that happens, and I think that it's good to show it. Now, where it kind of goes later, I have some critiques of, and so I do think there's some tweaks that could be made, but here, Show it, having a character that just is straight up just bad person that joins your party, I think is important to the themes of the game, especially related to Barrett's story where he really struggles with, you know, is what I have done right, even though I know it's for a just cause, is it just enough to have killed the people that I've killed? And he wrestles with that. And so I, I think it's important to have a character like this in a game like this. So I just wanted to share that before we continue. Also, I'm going to eat another piece of the sushi because it's freaking delicious. All right, we got to go to the Temple of the Ancients next which is in the north. I think it's that red dot in the north to the left, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me just double check where it is. Because there's another place that I don't want to accidentally go. <laughs> um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, that screenshot is tiny. That doesn't really help me. Oh, no, it's in the south. It's in the south. Okay. It's this. It's down here in the, in the, that southern island. Okay. We are going to try to go there. So let's, uh, let's go. Wait, I, should, I need to cross, don't I? Can I go up here and cross? No, I cannot. And I don't remember if you get battles while you're on the Tiny Bronco or not. Like, you can get battles in the buggy, but I can't remember if you can get battles in the Tiny Bronco. Wait, how do you get up there? If we're supposed to go to the Temple of the Ancients next. Oh, you go like this, across the river. Okay, we got it, we got it. Is this way? Let's 
let's see. What's what's if we get out of this house? I don't think we've been in here. Huh? Oh, another customer. You sure picked out an, an out-of-the-way place, but if it's the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. Don't have it. Keystone? What? You didn't come here for that. The keystone is the key that unlocks the gate to a very old temple somewhere. You're not going to believe your ears, but I heard it was the Temple of the Ancients. Temple of the Ancients? Ha ha ha. Don't take it so seriously. It's just a legend. Okay, so I went a little out of order. I should have gone to this house next. Um... But let me show you what happens when you go to the Temple of the Ancients. I did that out of order. Oops! I forgot what was in that house. Yeah, we totally smashed him. We got the tiny Bronco. Um, we, we're headed to the Temple of the Ancients now. I, 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 I came here. <laughs> I, I went to the house that tells you about how the keystone is missing. But um, I just want to show you all what happens when you go to the Temple of the Ancients right now. This is the Temple of the Ancients. I know, I feel it. The knowledge of the Ancients floating. You could become one with the planet, but you're stopping it with the strength of will. For the future? For, for us? What are you saying? Do you understand? Are you uneasy, but happy? Because I'm here. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. I want to go inside. Okay. Oh, let's step out and save real quick. Yeah, I got food too, CK. I got I got sushi um, from the Publix grocery store. Okay, y'all y'all see y'all saw that that robed man up here. Here he is. Keystone, open door of the temple. Look, he's number nine. There's a tattoo. Oh, shit. Okay. Sushi we get here is terrible unless you pay a fortune. Oh, that's a shame. I live uh, close to the coast, so. All right, so yeah, Cloud just comes in and shrugs. Like, you cannot proceed without the keystone. And remember that man in the house told us uh, the keystone is missing. <laughs> okay, so we don't know where the keystone is. But don't worry, you guys. I know where the keystone is. And uh, before we go and get the keystone, though, we we need lots of gill. We need lots of gills. And we have right now 27,000 um, gill. We need 30. So we need to farm up just a little bit of, uh, of gill. And um, also, I want to go this way, I think. Wait. I wish it would label stuff on here after you, you went there. Because I think I need to be... Yeah, it's on the other continent. We need to farm up some gill, and then we need to go to the Golden Saucer! Oh, I can't go up that waterfall. Okay. It was this, is this close to the Corel dot? I can't remember which is the Corel dot, but that's where we need to go. I think it's right there where I left the, uh, the buggy. Um, let's see. 
Yes, it is where I left the buggy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get 30,000 now, so I don't have to worry about that shit later. And I only need a little bit more. I'm at 27. I, th I think this is Mount Corel. I think if I go around here. I just gotta check. <clears throat> yeah. Because I don't, I don't want to pay another daily. When I could just pay the lifetime. So we're going to farm some gill. But I just want to check, like, is this right? Oh, no, that's Mount Nebel. Where is... Oh, I bet it's, I bet it's over there. I bet it's, like, this dot over here. Not Nibelheim, but, like... How would I get up there? I need an airship, not this tiny Bronco. Holler at me if you need help. I, I think I'm just, I just need to find how to get to Mount Corel, because I know if I just go straight to the Golden Saucer, I can't get in. I have to go through Corel again. Um, I just have to remember where the freak Mount Corel is. Get in my buggy, I guess, so we can go faster. So that's Nibel, Nibelheim. So is Mount Corel to the upper upper right of me, I think? Okay. We'll go back to my... Yes. Oh, you can put that down, too, though. I can go fill it up. Okay. And do you I... want it with you, or do you... I eat this, and I'll eat that after stream. It's already exhausted. That's okay. They won't get that soggy. <laughs> is chicken wings that he was trying to give me. Okay, so they look delicious. We also get the wings from Publix, but then we just put them in the air fryer for a bit and they get like nice and crispy up. It's like so good. It's my secret to give. Secret. Okay, so there's the golden saucer right there. Oh shit. Yep, I can't, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to cross that. I want to go around. Yeah, it's hot wings. Probably, um, probably some other flavors too. He probably brought was bringing me a hot, um, a buffalo one and a teriyaki or whatever flavors he made. We love sauces in this house, so like it could be anything. It'd be a mystery. Ah, uh, thanks for the heal. Thanks for the heal. Okay, this way, I think. Yeah, my partner's all about the spicy and hot shit. I, I like spicy stuff. Um, I do have a limit, though. I do have a limit of spicy. And um, I've had some trouble with, uh, with like, really spicy, like, ramen or stuff like that. 
um, because it'll like build. It'll be like, oh, this is delicious, and then I'm halfway through it and I'm dying and I can't finish it. <laughs> that has happened to me before. My stomach can't cope. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have a stomach of steel. My stomach of steel is back, by the way. Anybody lurking curious, er er everything's fine now. I paid my tithe to, uh, to the medical industrial complex and I'm good now. They didn't fix nothing, but I'm fine. Everything's back to normal. So I have my stomach of steel again. Yeah, well, it's fine for you because you have lived that way, you know? So for you, it's like whatever. But I like to eat, so. I will be sad. Okay. I think we're almost there. Am I going to the right place? Is that red dot up there? Wait, no, this is, wait. This is, is this it? Yeah, okay, yeah, no, this is it. All right. What? Paying a thousand, 10,000 gil for some rock called a keystone. When asked how much they pay for a regular rock, just lying around, they slap me upside the damn head. Well, you know. Okay, so we can just, yeah, so we gotta go here for the gold saucer. So they just, everybody will give you keystone hints, I guess, at this point. The ropeway takes you to the gold saucer. Okay, how much gil do I got? Okay, we're right at 30,000. Fabulous. Welcome to the Gold Saucer. Are you together? A single pass is 3,000 and a lifetime pass is 30,000. All right, there we go. Thank you very much. Okay, now we can always get into the Golden Saucer. You have a gold ticket. You can come and go freely to the park as long as you don't lose it. Here at the Gold Saucer, there are many places where you must pay with GP. Okay, yeah, yeah, you've explained all this to us, so we've had it. Okay. Please enjoy yourselves. Don't worry, I will. <clears throat> I gotta mess with Cloud's materia. Sense, heal, enemy skill, ice, all cover, counterattack. Okay. Alright. I think that's good. So now the place that we need to go, we already explored like all of it, right? So for progressing the plot, we need to go to the battle square. Which I think is this one? It's so hard to read. But I think it's this one. Okay. to take a bite it's too delicious are you here for the battle too that's the idea i like fighters but i hate ones who are all talk i heard that this is the curator's favorite attraction he even has his, his collection displayed in the arena so when we came here before this was kind of like a trap um, but anyways, we get to experience the battle arena for real now. 
crap. I still don't have enough points. Mm, you're new here, aren't you? Then you want an explanation of the battle arena? Sure. You fight here and collect battle points. You can then exchange those points for prizes. The battle game, even though it's a game, you still use all your physical abilities to participate. Go to the front and pay your GPs. Feel like you're being reserved when you're eating? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I just eat. That's just how I normally eat. Like, um, Levi used to make fun of me. He actually hasn't done it in a really long time. I guess he got used to it. But how, like, my plate would be completely clean. Like, I don't have, uh, um, like, I won't leave, like, a grain of rice. Or, like, it just won't be, it won't be messy, you know? <laughs> that's just how I eat. <laughs> but if you lose, you lose all your points. So it's up to you whether or not to fight after each win. They also make it harder by giving out handicaps. They decide what the handicaps will be, and you won't know what you're up against until the battle. So yeah, once you leave the battle arena, all your battle points will become useless, so watch it. Oh, and one more thing. The maximum points you can get is 65,000, no more. So if you get that many, you should exchange them for something. Okay. Whenever you come to the Gold Saucer, I recommend you visit the Owner's Museum at least once. Come on, talk to her. Hey, hey, have you heard? Something awful happened. Two staff members and some Shinra soldiers were shot. The soldiers died instantly, but the staff survived. Oh, I saw them like literally laying face down on the ground. I can't believe they survived. I'm not going to lose this time. My partner is the same. Her food is gone while I'm a second bite. Also super quick. Yeah, I eat super fast too. That's true. Man, I knew I should have stopped, but it's so hard to stop. Like if I wasn't streaming at the same time, the sushi would have been done, been gone. The only reason I have not finished it is because I'm talking. <laughs> register for battle the registration fee is 10 gp i don't have any gp i guess i'm gonna have to buy some mm, where is the prize list oh this is the owner's museum they were talking about with all of dio's weird shit what's this materia in the middle Can I not look at the plaque? There we go. It's the keystone. Okay, here we go. This is our keystone. We need this. It's Dio again. <laughs> Long time no see, boy. Mmm, you like that, huh? Can you let me borrow this? <laughs> Sorry, but it's not for rent. Mmm. Since you've been good to me in the past, I can let you have it on one condition. One condition? <laughs> Entertain me. Uh, what do I gotta do? Oh boy. <sighs> Nothing at all that difficult. This is the battle arena. Show me your fighting skills. Just you, boy. I'm expecting a good fight. Okay, so this is what we do. We battle in the arena. So I didn't have to get GP, I just had to find Dio. I thought I was gonna have to actually register for it. I guess that's why that lady told me to go look at the museum. Great! Um, yeah, duh. Slot start. MP. Half MP. Go for it. Okay, well I need to heal. Oh, I put on the wrong thing. Give me white wind. I meant to put on the restore one. I put on the heal one. At least I have white wind, so it's okay. And he has counter now, so that's super helpful. We love counter. Best move. I don't remember how much of this arena I have to do uh, to win. 
<laughs> so I don't I don't remember if I ha how long I have to keep going or if eventually the game's gonna stop me because I'm doing it kind of in a special way, in a special plot way. Great. Uh, battle points twelve. So am I just supposed to keep going until I die? I I don't know. Last sushi kiss. Give sushi, give me the power to win. Now I've just got all the toppings that fell off. Keep going, farm? Okay. Yes, keep going? Okay. Got it. Oh my gosh, stop falling, chopsticks. No, not poison! I don't want to be poisoned. Not anymore. Did they freeze me? Those bitches. They froze me. What the heck? That's illegal. Oh my god, Cloud unfreeze. What the heck? I have my limit break and everything. I'm just dead. Oh, there we go. Fuck. Why? They shouldn't be able to do that when I'm by myself. I'm just gonna eat my sushi toppings. Yeah, I'm gonna die because they freeze me. What is this? And they barely are doing any damage. Kill him. My god. I'll show you guys. <clears throat> Get dead. Stop. No! At least I got- I, I- at least I healed. At least I healed and got one of them. Ma'am. This dumb. Is it like random what monsters you get? Did I just get super unlucky with some really stupid monsters? Here we go. Kill him. Oh my god. That move should be illegal. Painful death. 
Pickle ginger is one of the best parts of sushi. Just by the way, pickle ginger is delicious. What are y'all's favorite sushis? Oh, yay, I can attack again. Don't you stop with me. Don't you fuck it. Mmm. Fantasy. It's one of my favorite game series. It's the best. I love it so much. Those games are so good. Ow. I'm only ever store bought. Yeah, that counts. I don't know. Like, I feel like grocery store sushi has gotten really way better over the years. I mean, it's pretty good now. I don't think it, it was when grocery stores first started having, like, sushi counters, but now it is. Oh my god, he's gonna stop it before I even get a... Mm. I was trying to do a bigger attack. What, how, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, you guys? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. gonna apply more lip gloss if I can do something cry that's what I want to do that's what I want to do I don't even know how much HP he has left I don't even know if I should like attack or if I should risk going through the menus to do a bigger attack I fucking Christ Great, yeah, really great. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go. Level down? Down five levels? Oh my fuck. Why? Why does this arena do this to me? Let's heal up. Oh, he's got a peacock butt. That's pretty. Yeah, you got a very pretty peacock butt, sir. That was all my MP. Rude. <coughs> Rage Bomber. Give me my MP back. Thank you. Ah, oh, every time he hits me. Can I at least do one group attack? And I love counter materia. Counter is the best move in Final Fantasy, for real. Oh, you missed. Griffin's skill power is used up. Does that mean he can't sap my mana no more? Oh, limit break. Let's do that. Added attack is good when you get that too. Like, uh, yeah, the attack plus materia. Okay, got that round. Yeah, let's keep going. Why the fuck not? HP. Half HP? Why? Why do they hate me? How many rounds of this am I supposed to survive? Like, does it matter? Do I just keep going until I die? Oh, I'm frozen again. And poisoned. Yay! And there's five enemies. This is the best. 
<laughs> I'm a snake. <laughs> There we go. Y'all stop taking my MP. Mm oh, I'm frozen again. I was gonna white wind so I could cure the poison and the HP at the same time. I really don't want to use up my potions anymore, and um, I put the wrong materia on for healing, so I think this is going to be our last round. See if we can get past it. Oh, nope. There we go. <clears throat> That's the best you can do? Well, a promise is a promise. Go ahead and take it. Okay, we got the keystone. I guess it probably didn't matter how many rounds we got through, but we got through a decent amount. We shall meet again. <laughs> All right, Dio. Dio and your speedo. Okay. We got the keystone. I heard that they're the curators that this is the curator's favorite attraction. Oh, yeah, we already talked to you. All right, I think I'm supposed to go. Am I supposed to try to leave? Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, the tram's out of order right now. So? I'm really sorry. I'm afraid you won't be able to leave until it's fully repaired. Okay, yeah, this is what I was supposed to do. Yes, I got the key. We were successful. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, we have to do this voice for him. What's wrong? Too bad. It happens, though. I know. Let's stay at the hotel. They know me here. I'll go talk to them. For anyone that was hoping for a Scottish accent, you're just, you're just gonna have to be disappointed because I can't do one. I will let you know once the repairs are complete. All right, so let's go. We don't usually get the chance to be together like this, huh? Cloud, how about it? Can you tell me what's happened so far? I don't really know what's going on because I wasn't here in the beginning. Yeah, I'm for that. Good idea. Oh no, that was that's Red's voice, this is Vincent's. Oh, we have to do like the, do it like clouds. Good idea. I've been here since the beginning, and I still don't know what the hell's going on either. Cloud, the hell's going on? Come on, tell us. Don't get me started on that accent. Is it divisive for you? Um, all right, I'll give it a shot. Whew. We're going after Sephiroth. Sephiroth must be in search of the promised land. Promised land? A land full of Mako energy, or at least that's what the Shinra believe. I don't know if it actually exists. The Cetras will return to the Promised Land, a land that promises boundless happiness. Cetra? That's some kind of disease? That's what the ancients call themselves. Hey, didn't you listen to the elders at Cosmo Canyon? You don't know where the Promised Land of the Ancients is. You search and travel until you feel it. Then you just know that you found it. Eris, can you feel it too? I think so. So Sephiroth is traveling the world because he's searching for the promised land. Is that it? 
He's searching for that, and one other thing. Black Materia. I heard from Dio that the man in the black cape was looking for the Black Materia. I've never heard of Black Materia. How many men with black capes and numbered tattoos are there? You know, of course, my tattoo is number 13. How did you get that tattoo? Hojo put it on me. The rest are just war scars, but the number was done by Hojo. So, there are at least 13. You know, I think Hojo did something to those men in the black capes, but I don't know what it has to do with Sephiroth, though. That's why I think we should just go after Sephiroth himself. Yeah, me too. It's all just too damn confusing. And... I'm sorry, forget it. I think I'm tired. I'm going to bed now. What was that all of a sudden? What? That's it. I'm going to bed. Is that all? How about the Black Materia? You wouldn't understand even if I told you. Now all we gotta do is take action. We're starting tomorrow. Cloud. I'm number 13. Am I going to go mad too? I don't know what Hojo did to you, but you've been alright so far, right? But... Be strong. But I... Stop it, Red 13. Be strong. I wish they would switch it to Nanaki after you learn his name. Tifa? You're not the only one who's worried. I don't know what's going on, but we're in a bad situation. Hey, Sid. Let's go back to our rooms. <laughs> Sid's already sleeping. The end. Give it a bash. It doesn't work, CK. Sorry. We do a stitch voice. He doesn't talk much anyways. Just a couple scenes. And I don't like ever use him. <laughs> What's wrong? Let's go on a date. <laughs> what? A date. Or haven't you ever been on one? Um, oh no. You leave, don't take me for a fool or not a real one. Well, not a real one. No, uh, just a mixed up kid. Oh, come on, let's go. Hey. Tonight's enchantment night. All the attractions are free. How about it, you two? There's going to be an entertaining show in Event Square. Come on, let's go. Okay, so we're going to go. Cloud has never been on a date, true. Definitely never has. Congratulations, you're our 100th couple today. You two will play the leads in tonight's show. What? Oh, now it's not hard. Just play it however you want to and the rest of the cast will cover up for you. Come this way. Hey, hey. This sounds like fun. Come on, Cloud, let's do it. <sighs> long, long ago, an evil shadow appeared over the peaceful kingdom of Galdia. Princess Rosa was kidnapped by the evil dragon king, Valvados. What will become of her? Just then, a legendary hero, Alfred, appears. Aren't dates the worst? Like, no one behaves like myself themselves on a date. It's terrible. <laughs> You're just the best version of yourself, hopefully, on a, on a date. Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred! Hey, it's your line. Yeah, you. Ahem. Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred. Be my soul, please save- Or by my soul, please, please save Princess Rosa. Now, please talk to the king. Oh, legendary hero, Alfred, you have come to save my beloved Rosa. On the peak of a dangerous mountain dwells the evil dragon king, Valvados, who, who's kidnapped Princess Rosa. <sighs> but you can't beat the evil dragon king now. Talk to the one who can help you. Oh my gosh. I had forgotten, like, this was like a whole, like, little play thing. Who will you talk to? Um, we're gonna talk to the knight. I am a lowly knight. How can I help you? 
Um, let's, uh, oh, sh <gasps> let's defeat the evil dragon. Oh, what is going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look. Oh, no, the dragon has Eris. Gah. <laughs> I am the evil dragon king, Valvados. I have not harmed the princess. I have been expecting you. Please help me, legendary hero. How was that? <laughs> Here I come, legendary hero, Alfred. I already know your name. Oh my god. Now, what now, legendary hero? Uh, let's go to the princess. Cloud, I mean, Alfred. Uh, curses the power of love. Oh, behold, love has triumphed. Now, let's all return and celebrate. Yes, let's. Yes, let's. <laughs> and they pirouette too. Oh, how profound the power of love. And so the legendary hero Alfred and our story live on happily ever after. Someone help. <laughs> the dragon and the knight are just like, they're just chilling. I don't know about that. Well, if you're not just your best version of yourself on a date, then you're not really accomplishing the point of, the, of, the, of being on a date. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's probably what we should do. I don't know. I haven't been on a date in years. I've been married for many, many years now. Oh, that was fun. Let's go on the gondola. Two, please. Here you are, two tickets. Enjoy the sights of Gold Saucer. So we do finally get to go on this without GP. Wow, how nice. Cloud's just sitting there like... Oh, look, Cloud! It's so pretty! Oh, it is pretty. Hey, trying to be on best behavior, it never lasts. You're not doing it during the day because it's gonna last. You're doing it because you're showing the best version of yourself. And if you don't do the best version of yourself, then you do like your average self, the person, the person's just gonna think like, wow, this is their best version, seriously. So you're not doing it because the other person expects it to last, that's crazy. Beautiful, isn't it? First off, it bothered me how you looked exactly alike. Two completely different people, but look exactly the same. The way you walk, gesture, I think I must have seen him again in you. But you're different. Things are different. Cloud? I'm searching for you. Huh? I want to meet you. But I'm right here. I know, I, I know. What I mean is... I want to meet you. So even though Eris hasn't known him for very long, she can tell too uh, how much his real self doesn't come out. I had fun tonight. Let's do it again. Don't you like being with me? Uh, that That's not it. I'm glad. Next time we come, let's take our time and go on more rides. Oh, look at the time. We'd better get going. So, Eris is the most common date that you can get in this, in this, but there are other ones that you can get and I am going to show them to you. But I think the developers definitely intended for you to get Eris, because you have to kind of put in some effort to get the other ones. But Eris, you pretty much will always get regardless. Hey, what's Kate Sith doing? Is that the keystone? Hey, Kate Sith! Oh, shit. 
Kate Sith, bring the keystone back. Oh. Nope, nope. I didn't mean to run that way. Okay. Uh, was he back? Did he go to the ghost hotel? Yeah. I think this is where he went. Welcome. I wasn't, I'm not sure if it was this one or the one next to it. It's amazing someone put up with me for this long. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. At this point in my life, if, if I had to start dating again for some reason, honestly, I don't think I would. I don't think I would bother. Okay, maybe it wasn't here. Maybe it was... Hang on, let's go back to the battle one so I can see. I think it was the one... Maybe it was the one next to the hotel. Like, speed? Is this where he went? Oh, uh, no. It must have been round. That was the only other one on this side. Oh, not hotel. Okay, well, where's round? Back here. I missed the whole Tinder thing. Me too. Thank God. We don't have time for this. We've got to go after Kate Sith. I'm trying, Eris. I can't figure out where he went. Okay, we were in Battle Square, and he went to one of these. Had to be round ghost or speed. Let's try ghost again. Do I have to register? Oh my god. Okay, so that's not it either. Okay, no, she said no time for this either. So it's not round goes. Let's try speed. Let's talk to these people. Oh my god. I know he was in one of these. What the heck happened? Hang on. This doesn't make any sense. I just looked it up. He's at the Chocobo races. Which doesn't make sense for how the animations went, but whatever. Fine, he's at the Chocobo races. Found you, little bitch. Come here. Come here. I was screaming at the screen. <laughs> Good, that's interactivity. Hey, over here. What? Oh, it just, you threw it to him? Well done. 
What the heck? You just gave him the keystone. Hey. What? Wait a second. I won't run or hide. Yes, I was a spy. I was hired by the Shinra. I trusted you. I can't believe you. Couldn't help it. How about we go on like nothing ever happened? No way, Cat. You gotta be full of guts acting like a friend but being a spy. Then what are you gonna do? Kill me? You'd just be wasting your time if you tried. This body's just a toy anyway. My real body's at Shinra headquarters in Midgar. I'm controlling this toy cat from there. So you're from Shinra. Who, who are you? Tell me. Whoa, I can't tell you my name. We're not getting anywhere. See, I told you. Talking won't do any good. So can't we just continue our journey? You think I'm joking. All right, yes. I am Shinra employee. But we're not entirely enemies. Something bothers me. I think it's your way of life. You don't get paid. You don't get praised. Yet, you risk your lives and continue on your journey. Seeing that makes me... It just makes me think about my life. I don't think I'd feel too good if things ended the way they are now. And so on and so on. You'll never tell the truth. Once a spy, always a spy. We can't go on with someone like that. Come on, get real. It's just a thought. Talking won't make a bit of difference. But I prepared something in case this happened. Why don't you listen to this? Papa, Tifa. Hey, that's Marlene! Hey, it's the flower lady. Flower lady. So you have to do as I say. We have Marlene. Th those bitches have Marlene. You're the lowest. I didn't want to do this. Using dirty tricks and taking hostages. But then, this is how it is. No compromises. So why don't we go on as we did? Tomorrow is the Temple of the Ancients, right? I know where it is. So I'll tell you later. Of course, we'll get there after the Shinra, but you'll have to deal with that. We're, we're stuck. We have to do what he says. I wonder if Marlene is alright. I wonder what happened to Mom. Okay, so this is so fucking dumb. Kate Sith is a character... It's so dumb, you guys. Okay. He stays in the party after this. Like, you'll see. You'll see, like, the plot contrivances. But it's so dumb. What took you so long, Cloud? Oh, yeah, about the Temple of the Ancients. I think we take the tiny Brocco east towards the sea. We should be able to find it. Well, then, shall we get going? Who's gonna go? Not you. I wanna go. I'm going for sure. Okay, so let's get our normal party. Yeah, Kate Sith, honestly, like a lot, the characters in this are great. Except this guy. Except this guy. Temple of the Ancients, yeah, 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 you told me. Okay. Oh, this is just if you talk to them about reforming. Okay. No, we're all good. We're all good. Um, make sure we still have their materia. Okay, yeah, it's all still equipped. Oh, good lord. So stupid. Then see you later. Yeah, I will see you later. Okay, now if we walk back in here... um. Oh, I missed it. Okay, in my room, before I... I, I, I should have checked it before walking out. I should have read the note that I have. <laughs> anyway, there's an elixir in that cabinet behind Cloud that we just we just missed. So, just FYI. um, It's in that cabinet behind Cloud in his room. But it's just an elixir, so it's not a big deal. Alright. Tram is working now. So we can leave. Yep, very convenient. It's almost like someone broke the tram on purpose. Who would do that? Tell me remake people. 
does Kate Sith get any better of a character in uh in the new version? I have heard that he does. He does, does he? <laughs> I've heard it. I've heard he does. It's just so lame. It's just so lame that he stays in your party after betraying you. Okay. <laughs> it's a split opinion. I see. So some people say yes, some people say no. Hello, by the way, Ollie. You've come in right at the end. You've come in right at the end. We are going to go ahead and end the stream here today. Um, when, we, when we play this game again, it will be on, uh, on Sunday. So I think I think I'm pretty sure it's our community day next week, and then Sunday, and then on Sunday we'll play some more of this. So yeah, all right. So for those watching the recording, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. <laughs>